you thank you for this time and this hour. We thank you for your grace and mercy, Lord, that stretches toward everyone. Now we ask, oh Lord God, that you would be with my viewers. I thank you for them, Lord God, and I ask a blessing upon each and every one of them, whether they're watching or not, God, that you would bless them only in the way that you would bless them, Lord God, and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, hello, family. Welcome to Lynn's Kitchen. Glad to be back again. Today, I have something special for you. If you are tuning in and you are new, we just ask that you hit that like button, that you hit that subscribe button, and that you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified for every upcoming video that's coming forth. We welcome everyone here today in Lynn's Kitchen. I've missed you all um, when I'm away from you. And I just thank you for coming in and tuning in to be with this family. And again, if you are new, we want you to be a part of this family. So come on and join us and be a part of Lynn's Kitchen. So thank you. So right now, I have my pot. It is heated up. You see the smoke in it. I may have to cut this down, um, the temperature down. I'm going to remove this top. What we're going to do today, I am going to do my take on uh, chicken gumbo. This is my take. I may, I may use things that you don't use or I may use the exact things that you use. I don't know. But we're going to get in this kitchen and we're going to do this chicken uh, gumbo, gumbo because I like this time of year a little bit because now I can get into eating hearty meals like this. Um, with the weather being chilly, this type of, of um, this type of meal is good, you know, like for around the fire, if you got a, a fire or, or you go camping, that is, uh, uh, you're just having company over and you just want to chill on the weekend, watch the basketball game, a football game, whatever's coming up, and I think it's football. Um, this is the, the best type of dinner and you can make this as leftover you can have it for more than one day especially if you are the type that you know you, you, you've got jobs and things like that and it's, it's hard for you to really sit down and make the type of dinner that you want or you're just tired you can have this as leftovers if you make enough of it so I'm making enough for me and hubby because we've got some things coming up in the next couple of days and I am I know I'm not going to want to cook when we get finished so I'm going to start off with uh, I got my I got my sausage here, a Dewey sausage, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with that. And before we start, I'm gonna remind you guys, you always keep a clean kitchen. Well, I do. I always have my sink of water and and bleach and soap ready because I do my dishes in between. I do not like a messy kitchen afterwards, and I do not want to take the time to wash everything up that I've messed up. That's, that's what I do in the kitchen. But that's just a little hint. I got my gloves here with me and all my ingredients. So we're going to hear a little sizzle. But I'm going to start out with this, this Dewey sausage, okay? Because I want to open up the, the aromas in this meat first, okay? There it goes. There it goes. And you're going to see a little smoke. Yeah. Well, I want to open up the aromas in this. That's what I want to do. that over there. I hope everybody is doing great today. Well, I hope that your day has went in a, in a way that that is satisfying. And if you are watching me, I don't, if it's in the morning or afternoon or late evening or night, still welcome. Oh, and you can smell, I like to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. It has the seasonings in it. You can smell the spices. And of course, you see what it's doing to me, right? Oh, and it's smoking up. Look at that. Okay. I just want to open up the, the juice that's in this. Get this started. Okay. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my green pepper, my green onion, I mean. And you know I love my onion. We want to get all of these flavors opening up before we put put the uh, before we put the wet ingredients in. Here's my onions, and I will have a description of all of these things, you know, uh, down in uh, in description for you. The what I use, the amount. So now, 
with, oh, this smells so good. Guess what the onions and the sauce is. Now with this, again, you can modify it if you need to make more, then you add more. If you want to make less, then you do less of the ingredients. Use your own judgment at it. And I'm in that, and the reason I can only do chicken gum, I'm, I will tell you, um, you'll never see me, and I'm so sorry, but you'll never see me doing like shrimp or anything, not, not me particularly, because I am allergic to all shellfish. Um, I can't even cook it, let alone uh, peel and, you know, take shrimp and stuff like that apart. I'm very allergic. I have EpiPens. So when I, where I'm living, I have to keep EpiPens because everything is, um, everything has, uh, every, every restaurant mostly that we go in down here, uh, sit down restaurant, it does have seafood. So I even have to be careful when I'm going into restaurants, I have to ask them, you know, about if I want like uh, fish and chips or, or something like that, I have to ask if they, if they separate the cooking in that. Most of the restaurants down here, they don't. So, you know, okay, mm, that smells so good. So yes, I've been going through this. We have, now we have our green pepper I'm gonna put in here. I wanna open up these flavors, y'all. That's exactly what we wanna do. Open up these flavors. And get that started, get this party started. And I thought about doing this, um, you know, um, because it is getting chilly, you know, you can, oh man, so many, so many ways that you can use uh, recipes. And I do watch a lot of people do like the, the seafood gumbo and it looks so delicious, but I can only do the chicken. That's all I can do is a chicken. Can't apologize for it. It's, it's just some people just can't. Now I can eat fish, but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't do the seafood. Mm, I wish I could smell the aroma in this kitchen. Mm 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 mm. Smell that aroma. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. I'm gonna add my celery. Yes, I'm going to add that celery and get that cooked down. Man, it smells so good. I haven't even done half of it. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this smells really good. Okay, so I'm getting this all cooked down. Getting that all cooked down, you see that? It smells so lovely in this kitchen. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you a steam bath here. This is how it's looking. It's getting, I'm getting all of the aromas are coming out. Sweating out all of that. Yes, that's what we're doing, sweating it out. And I'm going to add my garlic in there. Chopped garlic, this is fresh chopped garlic. I wanted to use a lot of fresh, you know, vegetables. Sorry, I'm getting another. There we go. Here we go. I mean to get you, get you all steamed up there. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Very good. Very good. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, now. Okay. All right. The way we need that to go. Oh, it smells so wonderful. Yeah, now, I learned how to eat gumbo because my mom didn't make gumbo. So I learned how to eat gumbo through the years, like through other different relatives and going to like, uh, like different um, house parties and stuff like that um, and I wanted to try it I didn't try to gumbo on my children but I think I started trying to gumbo like I think about when my after our after I uh, got over illness and started cooking again uh, 
then I, I, I started trying other recipes and oh, it was good, you know. So I said, I wonder if I could do a chicken gumbo and find out that they did do chicken gumbo. So this is my version of it. Now the, the uh, I love the way this is sweated in here. So now what I'm going to do, we are going to go ahead and go forth. I've got my chicken broth here that I'm going to use in here. Oh yeah. Put that chicken broth in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm, after I get the chicken broth in here, I'm going to let the chicken broth come, come to, all of this come to a nice boil. And then I'm going to add the chicken, okay? Oh, this is going to be a nice hearty meal. Yeah, this is your go-to. Make a big old pot of this, and then if you make over the amount, you can always freeze it and take it out for, at an, uh, another time. You, you can take these to potlucks and, you know, like I said, uh, make it for dinner or make it for company, you know, when they're coming over. A weekend, you know, just a weekend where you just want to just chill. So that's my second box. And these are, they make, they make one cup. Yeah, these boxes make one cup. So, I am putting, for right now, I'm gonna put two and a half cups in here. And measure that off there. I might use three cups. Because we gotta have room for our rice. Okay. So I'm gonna save some just in case I need some a little later. Okay, let's get this stirred up. Mmm. All right. So the Dewey sausage has its own spices and herbs and, and a little bit of spice in there. Uh, heat comes from the Dewey sausage. And so we're going to see about my ingredients that I'm going to put off in here. So right now what I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to stir this and I'm going to allow this to come to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we'll be back because that's when I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, add the other ingredients, okay? So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. We're gonna check this, it's boiling like I want it to. Yes. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, it smells so good. Let me just taste this. Cause that sometimes do is sausage, it's just, I just want to taste and see what the broth tastes like to give me an idea of what to put in it. Mm -hmm. It does need more seasoning, guys. Always remember, I had to get your sipping spoon. Now the Dewey sausage right now, and all the stuff that's in here, I can taste the freshness right now, even with the broth. I can taste all of the vegetables that we got in here and the garlic and the gooey sausage is, is, is really giving off that taste here in, in, in the chicken broth. So with that, we are going to add the chicken. I have my chicken rice. I'm going to put my pencil over here. I was writing on some things. I'm going to put my glove on because you know you're messing with chicken. It's cleaned and it's washed. I used two chicken breasts. I sliced and diced, okay? So now I'm gonna put this in here so this can cook. All right, so that can cook, okay? And I have a husband, he, he, love, he loves his stuff meaty, so that's why you see I use a lot of meat because he loves to taste his meat in his food. Soups and things like that. Okay, put this over into our dish water. Okay, I'm gonna give it a stir. We're gonna let this uh, bubble up again. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna, oh look, as always look, what the meat is already doing. Cause we want this meat to get tender in here. Then I'm gonna come back after I got, got it boiling the way I want to. And we're gonna finish this off. We're gonna finish it. We're gonna, we're going to attempt to finish. We still have to, um, we still have to put the rice in here and the dry ingredients, okay? But we're gonna let this come to, a, to another boil. Okay, and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna check it to see, and then we'll go from there, okay? All right, let's, let's keep this going. Okay, 
Hey guys, we're back. It is boiling. My house is smelling wonderful. Wonderful. And guys, again, I want you to understand that, that you don't have to cook this much. If it's just one person, modify the ingredients. You don't have to use everything that I have. I will have a description uh, describing what I do use and how much I do use. If you have to make make bigger pots for bigger um, groups, then double or triple your size in everything, depending on what, what you're doing, okay? But again, if you're gonna use the, the, the Dewey sausage, um, it has a lot of flavors in it already, and it's, it's uh, remember that it does, it does, it's spicing up this. So I may not even have to use as much of my dry ingredients in here is because the Dewey sausage, it, 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 we let it bleed and, and water out and so it, it, the aromas and everything, I mean, the seasonings is, is really in this, in this, um, in the, in the chicken broth it, and, it, and it, it tastes good, but I just got to put a little bit more in there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add, I'm going to add my, I'm going to add, I'm going to add the rice. Okay, I'm gonna get this going. I'm gonna add the rice. And you can, I mean, choices of rice that you wanna add, you know. Um, it's a long grain rice that me and my husband does. We do the, the para, uh, sorry, the para, is it Parabella? Something like that, Parabella. Anyway, it, I love the way it cooks up. You even any kind of type of rice you want to. Brown rice, um, you know, it's up to you. But again, like I said, you, this is your baby and you can modify it. You can either bring the volume up on the part when you're cooking it for however many people, or if it's just one person. If you're just by yourself and you don't really like to do a lot of cooking, and again, if, if even for busy, busy uh, parents who are on the go all the time, and you want to have some type of hearty meal through the week, this is a good a good recipe to use. Um, because and you and you can make more than you should because you can um you know it's not uncomfortable. I'm not gonna put that in there. I think I'm gonna put my dry ingredients in here. But you can use um you, you can take and, 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 and like, you know, make it and if it's too much, guess what? You can freeze it and, 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 and you know, put it in a container and freeze it, mark it for the date. And then, you know, when something else comes up, if you don't feel like doing it or something comes up where you, you, just, you just waste, a, uh, you know, you got less time, then you already got your, your stuff already prepared. And it's, and it's great. And you know, when you, I find out when you freeze leftovers, and then when you need them again and you unfreeze them, the taste, I mean, the all of the, the flavors have went through so, so good. And so it's, it's perfect. You can have this this right here. I mean, you know, it's, it's a, a one pot meal on its own. Um, and it's hearty, you know? And it's up to you if you wanna add something, you know, extra fried chicken or, you know, whatever you wanna do, do to it. But um, right now, I'm going to add the dry ingredients, but yeah, this is a good meal. This is a good meal. Here go my garlic, garlic and, and pepper seasoning. I'm going to put, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Then again, don't you don't always have to go through the measurements, okay? This right here is uh, mixed herbs. It's got like a Italian-like herbs in it, but I'm going to put some of that in there. That's two pinches of that. And here's the, the onion powder that I use now. It's called Southern. It's Southern onion powder, and it's, it's, it's got the mixed blends in it. So I, kinda, I like it. It's a different type of taste. It's still onion powder, but it is deep south, as they call it. Here's my garlic powder. I'll give my garlic powder. And right here, Here's my gumbo seasoning. Ah, my gumbo seasoning. Which I never tried before. So this is a new ingredient for me to see how this is gonna work out. Let me take my glove off. 
I'm gonna stir it and then I'm gonna taste it to see where it's at. You know, at least the broth. Then we're gonna cut it down so that the rice can cook the way it's supposed oh my goodness, the way it's supposed to cook. And mm 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 mm. And if you want to add like other peppers in here, um, you know, like red pepper and yellow peppers, hey, do do what you do. You can. I might even go and chop some up myself. And when we come back, it may be some in here. Because you know I like color. So we're going to see. I think I will. And I'm going to do it off camera and come back, okay? And I'm going I'm to see what the hollands taste like for right now. I'm going to cut, the, cut it down so it can uh, simmer so the rice will not cook. Okay. That is good. Put some more gumbo seasoning in there. That's good. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit more of my. That's, I'm just gonna use that all. That's that, that pepper garlic uh, thing that I use. Man, is that, it's the bomb. I'm gonna put some more. I'm just gonna use all of this. Okay. And then put some more mixed herbs, okay? I always have the water ready. Okay, let me mix some more of this in here. And I'm just gonna let this cook. I'm gonna let this simmer down. And I will come back when, it, when the rice has cooked in it. And I'm trying to get it into a consistency where I don't want mine like a red bean and rice. I want it more, not on a soup side, but I don't want it too dry either. So we'll, we'll see the outcome of that. Okay, so we will be right back, okay? Mm -hmm. As you can see, guys, I had more. I had the red, orange, and uh, yellow in there. Pepper, so I chopped them up right quick, and guess what? They gotta go in the pot for some color, for some extra color and taste. Yes. Okay, oh, here it go. Look at that. Oh, look at that. See? Put the color in there. Oh, this is going to be so good. Mm -hmm. You can improvise. You don't have to put this in there with that, okay? I'm just, I just wanted to have some color and some extra taste in here. Yes. So I think when you're doing gumbo, you can think of any type of meat to put in your gumbo. Um, and this is, yeah, it's okay. I like this. Okay. So we're going to let this go ahead and cook on down. And we will be back. All right. Okay, guys, we are back. And we're going to check on this. Okay? We put everything in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is where I want my gumbo to be. Okay. I'm going to show you up close in a minute. This is where I want my gumbo to be. Right there. Just some juice in it. Look at that. Mmm, -hmm. good, y'all. Okay. We're going to try this. We're going to try it. But this is where I need it to be. Guys, I'm back. You see where I, I like it like that? It's not soupy, soupy, but it's not, you know, it's not dry either. So this is where I want mine to be at. So you know what time it is. It's time for us to test this out. And guys, have fun with this. You know what I'm saying? You, if, if you don't you want to use all of what I put in mine, then okay. It's all right. Have fun with this. You can go and, and, and get your kids in the kitchen or, like I said, do a gathering with your friends. And you can have people in there chopping up things and and, and, and getting the ingredients together for you and just make a big, big family thing out of this or just just have fun with it. This is the best type of meal to cook when you want a gathering to come together or what have you. Um, I didn't put okra in here, but if you like okra, you can add okra in here. Uh, some people may even add like red beans. 
this 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 is just what I like doing and this is the ingredients that I like to use but it, you can make any type of gumbo that, that that your heart desires and I always use this because that's what I can eat but it's a favorite uh, and so go ahead and try out this recipe and if you have been with us through all of this cooking and you've come to this point in the video Go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified with the upcoming videos that are coming your way. I appreciate you being here and I thank you and we are going to do a little test, test, taste right now. Oh my goodness. I had to let it cool down. That's why I was talking because you know, I'm going to be burned. But oh boy, oh boy. Mmm, I like it. I love it. Mmm, mmm. Yes, you can taste, you can taste all the seasoning. I taste the Dewey sausage. I can taste the celery and the gumbo mixture that's in there. And you get like a little bit of a kick to the back of your tongue afterwards. So this wouldn't be, and some people will add red peppers. Um, I know that you can make it with the with the with the um, with gravy. It's however you need to make it, okay? Um, and this is this is my portion. This is Lynn's concept to you know. Uh, oh my goodness! I mean, my concept. Oh wait a minute. Yeah. 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 This is good. This is what I think about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the chicken is cooked perfectly. It's cooked perfectly. Oh man. Mm. Okay. Well guys. And there you have it. We have my chicken gumbo. And please, I hope, try this recipe. Give me, give, get, let me know if you even tried it and then give me some feedback on it. I'd like to know, okay? So again, thank you for joining Lynn's Kitchen. Um, um, and again, um, we thank you for coming aboard. And again, we'll come at you with some more recipes. Until then, we ask that you would have a good night. We will see you again on Dan's Kitchen. Bye-bye.